Yeah. So how how'd you um I guess decide that hey I'm 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 gonna start my own agency. Well, I mean what what made you want to go in that in that direction? Because you know there's some people that you know they got the the cushy corporate job mm-hmm. and they be like man I'm making six figures, okay. uh, seven figures. I remember just stay here. I had no stress. I don't have to worry about employees. You know, <laughs> so what made you want to go that route? Believe it or not, it's kind of fell upon me in a way. Um, I was working for one company. I get, I don't want to say get comfortable. I enjoy what I do. I do it well. And I don't, I'm like a perfectionist. I keep going, going, going. So I was at a company for 16 years. Like I said, worked my way up the corporate ladder, was doing really well, loved what I did. And I was pretty much handling a lot of work <laughs> that back in the day you had teams of people yet it always falls on one person but it was yeah. fine i loved doing it so after 16 years of working there the company was closing and now it's like oh, wow. uh, like now it's kind of crazy because i'm like 16 years do i even remember how to go on a job interview like now I'm, you know so anyway i wound up um going to another company and it was a company who offered one service that we didn't offer and we said okay well maybe i can join forces and make this a full service agency well ironically every client i had followed me which I thought was kind of cool because you had the option to go anywhere you want, but I think they valued the work that I did. So they followed me over there. And the tricky part was I couldn't, even though I had planned to make this a full service agency by doing what I did, I was very separate from what that company did. And they got the majority of their clients from the IR departments of, of their clients. So I couldn't say what it is I even did. So I basically was there, but I had nothing really to do with that company. I just kind of held up an office and that was fine. So after about two years, I wound up working from home because they needed the office space. So that's when I started doing the remote thing ages ago. After six years, that company was closing. So now I was like, "Ah, so now I'm going to have to go get another job now or move. They were basically selling their company. And I was like, well, do I go down that road? Because I don't even do the same thing they do. Or do I just branch out? I've obviously been doing it on my own, so I don't really need them. So I wound up starting my own company. And again, every client stayed with me. So I thought, you know, that's they followed me through three different places. I think that's pretty cool to a good testimony to, you know, the quality of work that I do. And I don't charge a fortune. And what's cool is that if you go to another company, you have to hire an IR team or PR team, a marketing team, internal or external. I do it all. Or I'm happy to work with your internal or external teams. That's totally fine, too. I always say, here's my brochure. Tell me what you need and I'll get it done. Whether you need it all, cool. If not, but at the end of the day, if you get it all, you're basically only paying the one price as opposed to hiring three different firms. So I think because I've proven myself, I've gotten, you know, I mean, you could see myself on various magazines, um, clients on magazines, awards for myself, awards for my clients. You know, so I always say the proof is in the pudding. I mean, the results speak for themselves. So. You won. Yeah, I, I agree with that 100. percent I, I saw you uh, you on plenty of covers on, on, your, <laughs> on your website and everything. But yeah, you um you I've had a, a similar experience. I work with this company, and the Fed shut them down. Oh, they shit. just had a oh, they came <laughs> at all.